In this video, we'll discuss about what if I have nothing to be grateful for. We've said a lot in this video course so far about how practicing gratitude frequently helps you to bring more positivity into your life. But what can you do if you feel like you have absolutely nothing to be grateful for? Sometimes everything in life can feel like it's just too overwhelming. If everything sucks and you're struggling to find even one thing to be thankful for, how do you move forward? Although gratitude should be a simple thing to feel, it's surprisingly difficult sometimes. That's because we're hardwired to overlook the good things we experience and instead put our focus primarily on everything that goes wrong. It even has a name, negativity bias. When we take it at its most basic level, this means we tend to pay more attention to things that are bad because they threaten us. We can safely ignore the good things since they won't cause any harm. However, bad things may be dangerous and therefore we fixate automatically on them. This may be a primitive human response, but we don't need to be controlled by it. Once you know that negativity bias exists and how it works, you can work on overriding your biological programming. You can choose to concentrate on the good things over the bad because after all, there's always something positive to think about, even when it seems otherwise. Even in the most desperate and darkest times in your life, rest assured that there will still be something, however small, to feel grateful for. It's especially important to focus on the good things when you feel like there's nothing left in life to be thankful for. That's the time when gratitude will make a huge difference. So make a point of looking for something you're thankful for every day. And eventually, you'll begin to see more and more positive things around you and focus less and less on the negative. How do you begin to find things to be thankful for if your life feels like it's going down the tubes? Here are a few starting points to get you going. Start small. As when tackling most challenges in life, it's best to start out small when you're trying to start implementing gratitude practice in your life. You can't run before you can walk, and you can't climb Everest before you can climb a hill. When things are really bad, you shouldn't just fake being thankful for something you don't really have. That's pointless and defeats the whole object of this exercise. Instead, look for the smallest thing that you can genuinely say you're grateful for. Perhaps you heard a bird sing when you left the house this morning. Or perhaps the sun came out and dried your laundry on the line. Even these tiny things are a good place to start. Find anything at all that you feel gratitude for and then take yourself a moment to truly feel it. Even say the words out loud, thank you. This is where your gratitude journal can come into good use. Start recording the things you're feeling grateful for each day. You should aim for three at least. But when you feel as if there's nothing good in your life, a single thing to feel thankful about is better than none. When you've thought of something, write it down and then read it over a few times. Really feel the gratitude while you say, thank you. The more comfortable you become with practicing gratitude, you'll begin to find more things you're feeling thankful about. You then have two choices. You can either increase the number of things you feel gratitude about every day, or refine your practice by making a point of reflecting further on the good things that have happened to you. Choose your top three and record them fully, going into depth about what those things meant to you and why they made you feel so thankful. Again, once you've recorded your thanks, take the time to reread it several times and truly feel the emotion behind it. This is the most important element of this exercise. If you don't really feel grateful, all you're doing is writing down words. Think of others. We've already mentioned the importance of other people when it comes to feeling gratitude. While a lot of thankfulness comes from within yourself, extending that gratitude to the other people around you can make a huge difference to your overall happiness, not to mention the happiness of other people, as well as focusing on the other people in your life when you implement your gratitude practice and how they've made you feel thankful for their presence. You should become more aware of others who have less than you do. All you need to do is switch on the TV and watch the news. You're sure to soon see countless others all over the world whose lives are worse than yours and who are in more dire straits than you. Focus on those people and feel grateful that your life isn't as bad as you thought. If you're ready to take this element of your practice to the next level, become involved with a cause you feel an affinity with to help others. Perhaps volunteer to visit elderly people suffering from dementia or help out at a homeless shelter. Once you start helping others who have less than you do, you'll rapidly begin to recognize and appreciate the things that you do have, even if those things aren't the things that you'd like to have in your life. Forget long lists. As we already pointed out, 
Sometimes it feels impossible to think of lots of things you feel grateful about. In fact, it may seem impossible to even think of one. If you set yourself a challenge of writing a long list of things you're thankful for, you'll soon give up on your practice because it will feel like an insurmountable task. Instead, try to identify one thing you feel grateful for in your life. If you can, try to push it to three. If you're wondering where to start looking for those things, here are a few places to begin. Identify something you appreciate about your life. It could be something you have now, something you had in the past, or something you know will happen in the future. Nothing is too small. But the more specific you can be, the better it is for your practice. Identify something you usually take for granted, but when you think about it, it makes you feel thankful. Perhaps you're physically healthy. Take the time to say thank you for that blessing. Identify something you like about yourself. It could be anything from your personality or qualities to your actions or your appearance. This will help you to boost your self-esteem and focus on your own positive traits. Identify something you feel gratitude for in your current situation. Be present in the here and now. Perhaps you're grateful to just have the time to sit and think about your life rather than having to rush about and get jobs done. Or perhaps you're grateful for the sofa you're sitting on and the comfort that it provides. The small things are just as significant as the big ones. Identify someone who has a positive and significant impact on your life. It could be a family member, a friend, a manager, a professor, or a mentor. Think about that person and the way they changed your life for the better. Why not write a gratitude letter to that person? You don't need to actually send it to them. But by constructing a letter thanking them, you can connect with your appreciation for them. Once you've pinpointed the thing that you're grateful for today, write it down, reread it, and feel the gratitude in your heart. The entire point of this exercise is to feel the thankfulness through your being. Read your statement. Pause, then breathe deeply, allowing the love, warmth, gratitude, and appreciation to wash right over you. Doing this practice every day increases your feeling of gratitude, and that appreciation won't just improve all your relationships with others, but it'll also bring love back into your life. Practicing gratitude regularly connects you to the world around you and to the past, present, and future. While you're taking the time to practice gratitude, you can forget all your responsibilities, tune into your emotions and focus on the way you feel just for the moment. It can make an enormous difference to your whole life and transform your existence for the better. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.